We're part of a small political collective who chose to move to a working class neighbourhood on the fringes of West London. It's fair to say it's not much of a cultural hotspot, but here's what we do have. Lots of migrants. Lots of low paid jobs in logistics, warehouses and factories. This area is a global transport link. First of all, it connects London with the rest of the country through the roads. And then we've got Heathrow Airport, which connects the country to the rest of the world. So as a political group, we think these kinds of areas are important places to base our political activity. If you want to think about the revolutionary transformation of the way that we work and live, then you have to get rooted in places like this one. Here, tens of thousands of largely migrant workers on minimum wages process, package, distribute 60% of the food that is consumed in Europe's biggest city. Here, Brexit and the hostile environment hangs over people's heads. If you want to discuss and build real working class power, you have to get rooted here. So now we're here, what do we do? What do we mean by getting rooted? We've got four main ideas that work in tandem with each other. Number one, workplaces. We got jobs in the bigger workplaces, got to know people, find out how the capitalist machine works on the shop floor and beyond, what issues are important for people, we encouraged our co-workers to fight back against the bosses and temp agencies. We've organised slowdowns at Sainsbury's. We've agitated with our workmates to not put up with management bullshit. We've had workers' meetings to encourage workers' self-organised actions. We tried to push a radical line within our unions and involve workers in their own struggles. Number two, solidarity network. We set up a solidarity network to support each other at work, at the job centre, problems with landlords. We want to propose that we can support each other without any legal experts or middlemen. This builds links to different groups of workers and different workplaces. The word spreads and we become bigger and capable of doing more stuff. Number three, newspaper. Have a publication. We publish a newspaper, Workers World West, and distribute it in 10 to 20 local workplaces and areas where workers congregate. In it, we talk about our experiences at work and in the Solidarity Network to share with local workers. We need to learn from each other and give each other hope that people are doing stuff to fight back against the system and some practical ideas of what works and what didn't and why. Number four, internationalism. The system is global, so we have to be organised internationally. We want to share the experience that we made here with comrades in other countries and we want to take a responsibility to bring information from other places to workers here. For articles and text, just check out our website. We've been getting rooted for the last six years with some successes and some failures. We've written all of our experiences down in a book that will be published in April 2020. We'll be touring the UK with the book to have discussions with you about our strategic proposals to build a real grassroots movement. If you're an individual or an existing organisation, if you're finding your feet in an area or if you want to get a base and get rooted, if you see the limits of the election circus and want to stir up some shit, then come and see the angry workers. Yeah.